Hey, welcome back. It's Jamie, ready to work on making a line chart. Uh, this is another one of our data visualization uh, lectures that we're doing for our MBA research methods class. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make a line chart. The book explains it pretty well, but sometimes a demonstration is worth a thousand words. So here what we have is sales in $100 over a number of months between January and December. So this is one year's worth of sales. And I just want to plot it over time and see how it looks. Uh, getting the chart is actually quite easy. I'll show you how to do it. And then after that, we're going to spend a little bit of time tinkering with the formatting to make sure it looks great. So we'll start by highlighting all of the data that we want to use. And once it's highlighted, up here under Insert, we're going to look for a line chart. And in a Mac, it's right here with this drop-down menu. I'm just going to pick a two-dimensional line chart with the markers. And here it is. It shows up. It actually looks quite nice, just as it is. A couple of things that I want to show you, though. Of course, we're going to adjust the title. Uh, and then we're going to label both of the axes. But then I want to show you how we can change the way that text is written on this axis. So I'll start with the label, or with the title of the chart. I want everything I need to know about this chart to be visual, visually apparent when I glance at the chart. We don't want to have to look back at the data or go through something that we've written to see what's on the chart. The chart should say it all, right? If someone only looks at the chart, they should know what they're looking at. And so this is monthly sales, and then we'll say in hundreds of dollars. Under chart design, I'm going to label both axes, getting a primary horizontal axis title and a primary vertical axis title. And once those are in, I can just highlight and delete the existing text and retype in what I want it to say. So in order for it to be apparent to the viewer that sales is on the y-axis, I'm going to type in sales in hundreds of dollars. And then on the x-axis, it's fairly self-explanatory because the months are shown. But just to be consistent, I'm going to write month. All right, so what we also can do is change the orientation of the words in that axis. Because if those are short, Jan, Feb, Mar, Aper, right? Once those get a little bit longer, it's nice to be able to get them out of the way. So if you just click on the axis and then right click, so it's a one click and then a right click, you can format this axis. And when this box comes up and you have a series of number or you have a series of options, you can see that we've got axis options and text options. And if your computer doesn't just look like mine, you might have to play around until you can find it. But what I'm looking for, what you're looking for, what we're all looking for in this moment is text direction. And here it's horizontal, right? That's the way, it's our default. But if you can find that and click on that drop-down menu, you can see you've got a variety of choices. It can be horizontal, you can rotate it all 90 degrees or 270 degrees, or you can stack it. I usually just select the first one, or I suppose that's the second one, but it's to rotate all text 90 degrees. And then this makes room for longer words. So that's one option you can play around with. Another option that the book is a huge fan of, but I can't say I personally care about, but I'll show you how to do it anyway, is that you can remove these lines. Right? So if I'm out of the box, I can just click on that axis major grid line. And if you just hit backspace or delete, it will get rid of those. So there you go. That's a line chart showing monthly sales in hundreds of dollars for months between January and December. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, shoot me an email.